Welcome again to a short stop with a short stop. Today we're going to talk about a box score. If you don't know what a box score is, let me tell you. In Major League Baseball, when I was playing, I'd get up every single morning and go buy a, a paper, look at the sports section, and then I would look at all the box scores of the previous day's games. And what's in a box score? It's, it, it shows the lineup, who played, how many hits they got, uh, how many RBIs they got, how many doubles, triples, home runs. But then again, you drop on down and it had the pitchers, what the pitchers did that day, uh, how many hits they gave up, how many runs they gave up, how many earned runs they gave up, whether they got a win or whether they got a loss. But Major League Baseball players live and die by their statistics. And it's what they go in the next year and negotiate their contracts on. But God also has a box score. And if you would... Turn with me to Revelation chapter 20, and I want to read verse 12. And it reads as follows. And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne. And books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged from the things which were written in the books, according to their deeds. Now pay attention to that. According to to their deeds. What does your box score say? Let's look at Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. It tells us not to forsake the assembly. And it's a command. Here at the Painful Church of Christ, we meet on Sunday morning at 10. Uh, we meet on Sunday night at 6, and we meet on Wednesday night at, at 7. But sometimes we have gospel meetings, sometimes we have vacation Bible school and we're getting ready to have oath here in July. But those are functions that every uh, member of that congregation are supposed to be at. If you're a parent or a grandparent and you're not attending on Sunday night or Sunday morning or Wednesday night, and you're just coming sporadic, what kind of an example are you leaving for your children, for your grandchildren? Or on the flip side of that, if you attend every service that you're capable of attending, then you're leaving a great example. But here's the bottom line. Do you want your children and your grandchildren to go to heaven? Are they going to be able to use you as a, an excuse? Well, you don't go, so I'm not going to go. Or on the other side, yeah, my grandparents and my parents were very faithful, and they, especially in their attendance. So most likely they're going to use you as, as a good example. And their attendance is going to be well. But the bottom line is we want to get them to heaven. But those books are going to be open someday. And we're all going to answer. But what is your box score going to look like when it comes to your attendance? Something to think about. Secondly, what is your box score going to look like with the people that you talk to about Jesus Christ? In Mark chapter 16, verses 15 and 16, it says, Go ye, go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be condemned. Don't use the excuse that I'm not talented enough, I don't know enough. Use your email, use your text messages. Uh, use a phone call, write a letter, and all you got to do is put Mark 16, verses 15 and 16, and just say, I would like for you to read this verse. And you're on your way. You can do that. There's no doubt in my mind that you can do that. Therefore, you are touching somebody and letting them know that you're think, thinking about them, you appreciate them, you love them, and you care for them. And you're showing them a scripture that Jesus Christ said himself. But here's the bottom line. What is your box score going to look like 
when it comes to talking to people about Jesus Christ. Go ye. Let me give you a little example with an old teammate of mine, Joe Morgan. Uh, it always got into the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. <clears throat> and uh, the score may be tied or we may be ahead by one run. And Joe would just look over at me and, and say three words, and I knew exactly what he meant. He'd say, we got to go. But what, what did that mean? It, it meant that if a ground ball was hit to him, he was going to get it to me as quickly as possible. I was going to stand there and let the guy slide into me, whatever it took, but I was going to complete that double play. But on the reverse side of that, if a ball was filled to me, I was going to get it to Joe as quickly as possible, and, and he was going to stay there and take his punishment from the runner sliding in. We were going to turn a double play. But here's the bottom line. we got to go. It's the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning every single day in our lives. There's people out there that are dying. There's people out there that are getting sick. There's people out there that are lost spiritually that we can contact. But that is our responsibility is to go ye into all the world, and especially our family and our friends and our loved ones. But what does your box score going to look like? when it comes to the people that you've talked about to about Jesus Christ. And I hope that you're, you have nothing but 1,000 batting average, that you're on it every single day. And I want to leave a little note here. Those of you that are listening, that li live in Paintsville and Johnson County or the surrounding area, come and visit us at the Paintsville Church of Christ. Let us show you that you're needed that you're wanted, that you're loved, but most of all, that you're loved by Jesus Christ. We meet at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning for Bible study. We meet at 11 for worship. Then Sunday night again at 6 o'clock for worship. And then again on Wednesday night, we have another Bible study at 7 o'clock. We, we want you to come here and let us show you that we care about you that we love you, but most of all, again, we want to show you how much Jesus Christ loves you because here's the bottom line. This is my box score right here. I'm trying to talk to you. I want you to go to heaven. I want to go to, I want everybody to go to heaven, but we have to do it God's way. Let's have the greatest box score that we can possibly have. Thank you again for being with a shortstop with a shortstop. <laughs>